Is it clickbait? No, it's not. Clickbait is when a thumbnail is not in line with the topic of the video. What the thumbnail is, though, is it is a thumbnail. Here, I'll show you what clickbait is. Okay, and then there's, uh, uh, these are, uh, well, you know, I was going to draw boobs, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so then you have a person, and, and then after that, there's a circle with an arrow pointing to it. And then they say, oh my God. Okay, and, and this is basically, oh, just to, no, cancel that. Okay, uh, let, let's see, is this good? Yeah, this is good. So this is exactly what clickbait is, as you guys can see right here. Uh, this is every single, uh, every single show that you've ever seen, right? Every single YouTube video. Like, let me see if I can find some. Uh, you won't believe what happened. Well, you can't see. What do you mean? You What do you mean you can't see? Oh. There it is, boys. There it is. I, I didn't even. I forgot. I had that other thing in front of me. There's so many of them. You won't believe what happened in Indonesia. That is impossible. Two weeks ago, what even is this video? What is this? What is happening? Oh my god. It's a pillar of fucking god that's coming to punish the sinners in Indonesia for not believing in the right book. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Let's see, what's this? Oh, oh I know what that is. That's a spaceship. Uh, okay, and then let's go over here, and now we'll get to the real content of the video, which is Ted and Bill sitting in their apartment talking about how much money this video is going to accumulate from people that are really dumb. A and th these are the two masterminds behind this video. Uh, th they've thought everything out, and they can see everything. Well, at least he can. Uh, look at this, man. I, 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 oh wait, what, what's that? Oh, it's a kangaroo. Like, really? You won't believe that there's a kangaroo in a pool? I, I can believe that. It's not a big surprise. You know, I, I've seen a lot of this kind of stuff before. Okay, no, this is a Coke, bro. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, it's a kangaroo. Like, wow, big, wow, oh, oh, wow, there's clouds. Oh, there's a shore. Like, what happens on the shore? Something got rushed up, something got, got pushed up on the shore. Well, you know what that obviously is? It's Aquaman. Because he got kicked out of Atlantis again because Avengers is a real thing. Or the Justice League, who cares? You won't believe that there's a car in the water? Like, come on, guys. Like, I could very well believe that. Like, th this is not a... I mean, really, I, I could totally fucking believe that there's a car in the water. <laughs> okay, all right, let, let's go back to it. Sorry. The goal of a video like that is to interest somebody based on the wide narrative and then take them towards a more reasoned out position. At least that's the primary reason why I script my content instead of just flicking on the camera scripted. and speaking in my mind. Because yes, everything I do is scripted. I know that- Whenever I used to do my videos, I would have like my notepad and it would be, uh, where, where is it? Let me open up a notepad. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do another one of these. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it all the way over there? What the fuck? Uh, BFA is not good. It sucks. Legendaries are bad. I don't like Titan forging. Vanilla was the best. There it is. And so that's basically all I need to go on a 30 minute rant. 
and then that's the short rant. And then uh, there's a longer version, which is my stream. And that goes on for like four hours until I, I just get tired of talking. His job is to capitalize on make more videos. Marco, I, I really, can we, can we expand on this? His fucking job is to capitalize on nerd rage and then make more videos echo chambering the calamity talk. Markow44, what specifically makes you think that Bellior is capitalizing on outrage rather than reporting things from his own personal perspective? Right, like, so how, how do you distinguish between the two? Because what I'm going to probably learn here is that the difference is you don't like Bellior so you're ascribing negative attributes to him that reinforce your predisposition to dislike him. And there's actually nothing specific that he has done. I mean, let's, let's be honest. He, did he leave? He said no and left. Well, he's a stupid person. I mean, I hate to say it because he's like, subscribe to the stream, right? But like, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to have people that are dumb just going around being dumb. A and it it's like people that do stuff like that. They just like make these unsubstantiated claims that are bullshit. And it's annoying for everyone. Probably gifted a sub. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's rewind time. <laughs> So these are, I think, sloppy words that play into a larger problem, which is a lack of specificity. We kind of live in a world where, like, what it's a surprise that nuance is lost on the king. internet. Uh, those things matter because they're powerful tools, and they do not matter because they correlate to the truth. And that's why living in a world of specifics and details is really what's important. Be it in alignment with Blizzard or not in alignment with Blizzard. I think that this lack of specifics in favor of playing into a narrative uh, is one of the prevailing issues that we face. Uh, default. It's completely fucking right. I mean, it's completely fucking right. Let's be honest. I mean, all, all the things like if an idea can't fit into a tweet, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't matter. Like, you, there's no nuance to fucking anything. If you can't fit something inside of a tweet, it doesn't matter. That's it. They're never going to figure it out. It's never going to go anywhere. It's always going to be confusing for people. And unfortunately, that's the reality that we live in, right? That, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm sorry. Twitter was a mistake. Humanity was a mistake and Twitter is an outcome of that. Okay. Like there's nothing wrong inherently with Twitter. Okay. The problem with Twitter is that people fucking listen to it and they treat it like the Bible. Well, I wish they treated it like the Bible, because at least people know the Bible isn't fucking real. All right, here we go. Let's go to the rest of it. Was that too far? The thing is, though, we often only recognize when we slip up in retrospect. And I think that's something that happens now more so than ever. Why is that? Well, emotional manipulation and modern technology. There so it is. Gamification is when mechanics and rewards are assigned to something. As an example, emotional Twitter manipulation. Likes. Gamification is a tool, and it's a really powerful tool because it plays into the weak spots of human psychology. Now, while we probably okay. all wish we were able to think and then feel, I think most of the time we yet feel and then we think, or at least more often than we'd like to admit. I know it certainly is like that for me. It's a totally natural response, but it is a response that's the primary target of many of the mechanics by which our modern means of communication actually works. Even if it's as simple as This is a really meta video. He's like talking about how ideas are transmitted between people. And I'm going to give you guys a fucking example of what he's talking about, right? Is whenever Classic WoW came out, I started saying no changes. Now, anybody with a fucking brain knows that there are plenty of things that it were if they were changing Classic WoW, it would probably be a good thing, right? It's like adding colorblind mode, fixing glitches, those types of things, right? Where like your character just like falls through the ground and dies. Like these are obviously not good things about uh, about classic wow that it would be good if they fixed them that being said no changes is an idea that people can get behind 
I don't want any changes that affect the core gameplay and feel of the game that change the way that it would affect my nostalgia and remember the game the way it was 10 years ago. But at the same time, I do want to see some changes that maybe make the game a little bit easier to play in terms of uh, functionality and maybe the colorblind mode and uh, widescreen uh, possibilities. You know, th these this is w that's way too complicated. Nobody's going to understand that because they're dumb, right? And if you want to communicate with people, you have to be stupid. Because if you're not, they won't know what you're saying. Being worried that somebody has, you know, not read a Facebook message, or maybe that they've read a Facebook message but not responded. It's pretty unlikely we're all going to wake up tomorrow as I remember like back in the day, I used to try to talk to girls on Facebook, and I would get so fucking mad, dude, if uh, they left me on that, that, that scene check mark, uh, the little blue one there, I would get fucking pissed off. And so what I would start doing, because this would annoy me a lot, is I'd start talking to like 10 girls at a time. So if one of them did that, I'd just start, I'd just go talk to the other one, right? And that way it created, it was a double thing, right? And here's why, is because, uh, no, it's not like I was talking to them in real life. It's just on the internet, guys. I'm not a chat. I was just a fucking loser. So listen, um, because like, then like girls, a lot of them, right, especially they do that kind of stuff. They're trying to play like mind games with you. So I'm, uh, I'm like ignoring them because I forgot that they existed because I was thinking about like, you know, these other like five people that I'm talking to and they figure that I'm ignoring them. So they want me to give them more attention. So they try harder for it. And so I've got this whole rotation of these like girls trying to talk to me because I'm ignoring them because I'm talking to other girls, but they don't know it. Like, and I did this all the time, man. Like, this was basically, like, my job because I didn't have it. Yeah, it's like a rotation. And uh, it, it works really well. Like, I wouldn't do it if it didn't work, right? And uh, it was a great idea. First time try hard. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, try hard. Wow, look at that. We had a try hard. We had a usage of try hard that wasn't obviously fucking racist. That's great, guys. That's why I haven't banned the emote. It's okay. Yeah, I wasn't really much of a Chad, but yeah, I would talk to like 10 of them at a time. And I, I remember like, I, I never really felt bad about it either. Like, cause I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, why not? I, I still don't really feel bad that I did it, but it's ridiculous to go back and look and see what I did though. Okay, let me go back over here. High school is my best years. I did this like right as soon as I got out of high school because I didn't have anything else to do. It was kind of like having different like games that I was playing, right? And one was like Stacy, the other one was like Amanda. And I would be like trying to get to the next level. And then as soon as I got stuck on one of them, I'd basically uh, stop playing it until the catch up mechanic came back and I was able to advance in the story again. And it was actually great. Like, I I I'm telling you, like, it was just. It's just completely fucking, it, it, it's absolutely disgusting that I used to do that, but <laughs> hey man, I don't feel bad. That's the way it goes. I was a terrible person. Welcome, they do the same shit. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you think like, oh, you think Amanda's only talking to you? No, there, she's talking to, to Tanner, to Chad, to Tyrone, to Bill, to, you know, this other, like, sugar daddy, you know, uh, Robert, the 45-year-old, you know, stockbroker that buys her Gucci shoes. You know, like, no, man, everybody does the same shit, so I don't even give a fuck. Doics, and therefore be able to deal with- I don't know what that had to do with WoW, but, you know, that's what I do.